Welcome to Tech Brothers. In this video, we're going to answer a question and question is SQL services are not starting. Where would you look for that cause or the issue? Well, uh, you need to look into there. There are a couple options for you. Uh, if you don't have any third party involved uh, uh, looking at the services, monitoring the services, but um, uh, one is event viewer. You can look uh, in event viewer of that particular uh, machine where SQL Server is installed. Uh, if you don't get enough information from event viewer the best way to go is look at sql server log a lot of folks has uh, in their mind that oh if sql server i'm not connecting to sql server how can i look at the log well there are ways to a lot of ways that you can look at sql server log sql server log is not dependent whether you can connect with sql server or not all the sql server related issues um, and stuff will go in SQL Server log. And I'm going to show you in a second that where you can look in SQL Server log for that particular issue. And that's the best way to go. And I have done that many times. And you can find uh, the basic root cause or bottleneck why SQL services are not uh, restarting or not starting. So up here, I'm going to show you this is my um, machine again. Um, uh, this is uh, where I have installed SQL Server. This is my management studio. Now it's connected, but let's say that it's not connecting and SQL services are not coming up. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on start, go to computer, uh, see wherever my computer, uh, my um, SQL Server is installed. So I'm going to go in there and make sure that you uh, connect to program and SQL Server, not program 86. Uh, I believe that's correct let me make sure yeah program files and then uh, click on Microsoft SQL Server uh, if your SQL Server is 32 you need to go on uh, 86 but this is 64 bit so I'm gonna go ahead and this is my SQL Server engine so I'm gonna go ahead and click on that go there and look at log there is a log folder and here you go all the lo error logs that um, uh, you know uh, related to SQL Server you can look at it and you can uh, right click and open with notepad and find the root cause why SQL Server services are not uh, starting so make sure that you probably you wanted to do date modified so that you can look at the recent log always error log is the recent one and rest of the logs have the number these are archive logs I hope it helps